What's up YouTube? Chris Gardner here. Video for you today about this software I've talked about in some videos over the years, Sweet Home 3D. And some of the questions I've had on those videos are to do with uh, where am I getting some of the items I'm putting into the floor plans I'm doing. Uh, notably, you know, the ones I use the most are the 2D floor plan ones. I'll show you, show you where to get those and also a whole bunch of others. So this is the website if you haven't seen it yet, sweethome3d.com, uh, free software for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and you can even use it online from something like an iPad. Now obviously if you don't have this yet, you're, you will want to download the software, uh, nice and easy right here. And when it comes to getting the extra furniture, fixtures, and items like that, we can just go right here, 3D models. Now it does come with a bunch all by itself. Then you can download these individual packages and, and really like there's, they're kind of all over the place. Um, so, you know, free 3D models page here. These are each uh, individual collections. But what we are lo really looking for is this really, you know, difficult to spot link in and amongst all this stuff, additional contributors libraries. And here we go. So 2D symbol libraries, this is what we're looking for. This is a good one I use for fire safety plans, which I sometimes produce, you know, so we have fire extinguisher, icons, things like that, places, you know, signs and, and whatnot. If you're doing electrical diagrams, uh, entirely possible, you could use this one. And here's the other one I make use of quite regularly. And this is a uh, furniture symbol. So, you know, I use chairs, bathtubs, of course. Uh, there is enough to get your floor plans populated and, and, you know, identifying the key features and uses of each room. And there's even some new ones, it looks like, since the last time I've been to the site, but fuse boxes and gas meters. You never know if you might need that. Uh, if you need to do some plumbing planning, that can be done, believe it or not, with this. All kinds of roofing. So let's say you need to lay out these kind of things. Dimensional lumber. You know, I did something with dimensional lumber in Blender, but I actually built it with Blender. Uh, may or may not have been easier in this software, I'm not sure. So that's just a little highlight. This is, you know, I just want to really show, show you where you get this. This right here. So these libraries, you can download in the Ticket 325 with a 3D model contributing contributions tracking system. Here we go. 2D symbols and actually further down, I think you can get uh, some updated versions. See, 1.5, uh, 1.54. So who knows what the most recent version is? 2017, yeah, I think this is the version I have. Uh, so anyways, there's, there's your 2D icons, which definitely level up your sweet home 3D experience. And you know, that's just the, uh, the tiny little text link down here. There's so much, so much happening at all these other ones, of course. And I will let you do the dig in to find out what you like from that. Uh, I don't do too many of the colorful floor plans. I try, I tend to stick to these, uh, you know, more simple schematic type, but you never know how someone's going to make use of the software. It is incredibly powerful. So just wanted to highlight some of the features that are available to you. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Catch up with you at the next one.